be doing. Amen. Amen. And I'll tell you, there's every time that we need to do that. Now, the Bible tells us, church, amen. Now, if you have your Bible, turn to Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 46. Ezekiel 16, verse 46. The church is the light and the salt of the world. Right. That means uh, we're, we're supposed to shine in darkness. Amen. If you walk in darkness, uh, amen, uh, uh, if you are in darkness, walk in darkness, you're in darkness. But we are supposed to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We ought to be so enticing, so to uh, have so much of, about us about God that it would entice people to come and serve God. But Israel had failed. Israel failed, I mean, uh, Terribly, they failed. The churches are failing today. Can I hear an amen? I said amen. the churches are failing today. Amen. And if we look into chapter 16 this morning, verse 46 through 50, we'll see that the United States, that our nation is going to, in fact, the whole world, I think, is walking in the same direction that Israel, uh, in other words, uh, Judea and Israel, they, Jerusalem, they were walking in the, in the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. They was walking in the ways that we're walking today, and, and God just had finally said that that is enough. I tell you, I believe God is not just about to say amen to the church and to the world. That is enough. Amen. And as we look into our Bible, now the Bible tells us, first of all, in uh, uh, Romans chapter uh, 5, 15, verse 4, the scripture, see, we've got the scripture to guide us. The church has got and we've got the Holy Spirit, we've got the church, amen. Romans 15, 4 says that he gave us the Holy Spirit to teach us and to show us. He gave us the scriptures that we can learn. And church, this is what we need to do. We need to look in the Old Testament as well as the New. And we need to learn why, why Israel is in the shape that there was in the day. And as the shape there was right now, as I begin to read, is because church was sin abound in them. And then they were supposed to be the one that would give light to the world and to give light salt to the earth, but they failed God tremendously, and the churches are doing that today. Can I hear an amen? And, and the Bible says in, in, the, in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34, righteous exalteth the nation. I tell you, if we get back walking with God, our nation will be exalted. Can I hear an amen? amen. And it's a sin that amen brings a, 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 a brings a, a well, I can't read my right here now. <laughs> brings a, in other words, uh, evil to him. In other words, if we walk in evil, we're going to walk, we will going to be evil. And the Bible says that those that forget God, Amen. God will send them to hell. Nations, and you can look in the, in the history and everything else, nations that one time used to serve God and believe in God, look where they're at today. Amen. They don't really even exist. Amen. And, and that's what I'm trying to bring out this morning, church. We have a responsibility. What can the church do today with all this sin and, and all this everything going on in our nation and the world today? We've got to do something. Amen. And we're saying that God didn't save us on the seat of do nothing and move on to do less. Can I hear an amen? amen? We are supposed to be the light of the world. The church is supposed to be the we the people are the church. Can I hear an amen? amen. And we should be an example. And the church be tell you, we need to walk in the, as a light that they can see the light. They see they can see Jesus in us. And the, the churches are not doing that. Now, the Bible says that what doing this, we, we, we're so full of pride. The church is just full of pride. They're, they're full of idleness. In other words, the nation is and, and the church. And they're, they're so full of abundance. I mean, we are the nation that is so blessed in abundance. I mean, all the food that we got food, we waste more than a lot of these third world countries. Amen. We were starving to death. And they would love to have what we just stole away. But we don't appreciate nothing. We don't look up, amen, because we have forgot God. 
and we forgot, praise God, that God has given us his blessing is because at one time we walked in here. Can I hear an amen? I said at one time, church, this nation was founded upon God, upon God's word, but we have forgot all about that, turned our backs upon God, and that's the same way Israel did. Can I hear an amen? amen. And we will see what happened to Israel and, and Judea. It says in verse 46, and thy elder's sister is Samira. They're talking about uh, uh, Jerusalem and Judea. She and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand, and thy younger sister, talking about the young people, the young women, and, and the men that dwell at the right hand is Solomon and her daughters. Yet hast thou not walked after her ways? Now they knew that God had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and other nations around them because of their ungodliness and because of Sodom. Now hear they amen. amen. And it says, But again, hast thou not walked after their ways, nor done after their abomination, but as if they were a very little thing, thou was corrupt more than they in all the ways. I mean, they become so corrupt that they couldn't even hold the light to Sodom and Gomorrah. And this is our nation today, all these homosexual, same-sex marriage, and all this pride and everything going around. Church will fall in by the wayside, Amen. and the church is not doing nothing right. about it. Amen. We don't have to carry a sign. They just need to see the light in us and the testimony that we have, amen, for Jesus, and we begin to need to walk the talk and talk the walk, that they can see Jesus and tell them about that Jesus is the Lord and Savior, and Jesus is the only way out of all this total praise God. Amen. I feel this. I just been stirred in my spirit this morning. It said that has become more corrupt than they, they in all these ways. As I live, saith the Lord, son, Lord God, Sodom, thy sisters have done not, have not done, she nor her daughters. As thou hast done, thou, thou and thy daughters, behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, the fullness of bread, or the abundance of food and things, idleness, other words, lovers of pleasure, for which we'll get to that, it was in her and her daughters. Abundance, neither she strengthened in the hand of the poor and the needy. Otherwise, other words, they didn't have any cures for the poor. That's the nation today. They don't care about the poor people. They're just going to be what they give, what they want, that they're satisfied. They're not worried about their neighbor. Now hear an amen. amen. Verse 50 says that they were haughty and committed ab abomination before me. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. In other words, God saw, amen, their ungodliness. And, and of course, they kept sinning even more and more. If he knew he didn't do something about it, it would even get worse than what it was. Now, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 13, verse 13, it says, but the, but the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. I mean, the church, we got people today that they pacified God. They mock God, they make fun of God, act like there, there is no God, but church, one day they're going to find out there is a God. Amen. I Amen. said, one day they're, they're going to find out, and I pray if we don't do something as a church, amen, the, 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 our nation's going to be down. It's going to go, in fact, the Bible says, save ourselves from this downward, untoward generation. Yes. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 18, verse 20, and the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is, in, is very great. <coughs> now, church, I'm here to tell you, if God, if, the, if God don't do something pretty soon, our churches don't wake up, and, uh, God has got no other choice but destroy our nation. Amen. I said God has no other choice because God can't go back on his word. He cannot lie. Amen. And God has given us his word as an example. Amen. What he will do. And church, I'm here to tell you, there's some things that we've got to do, which I want to share. First of all, we need to see who is behind all of this. Amen. I said we need to see who's behind this. Now, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and 2, Now the Spirit, amen, speaking expressly that in the latter times, and this is where we're at, some should depart from the faith. I tell you, we, we have hard no faith at all. Right now in the, in the, in the church. Right. Amen. Amen. I mean, 
that's almost, it existed anymore. And it said, giving heed to seducing spirit, till they listen to God and the spirit of God, they'll listen to the devils and the doctors of devils and demons. Can I hear an amen? So amen. they're trying to rule, come into the church and, and rule, amen, the church and everything. But thank God, God is going to have a reign. God is going to have a church. And the gates of hell and all the principalities and powers are not going to hinder him. Amen. Hallelujah. And it says that they, and it says that depart from faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot arm. These are people that one time most have known about God, probably some of them have served God, and they have turned them out on God and become the apostates. In other words, that they have lost their faith. Amen. Or that the devil or that man. Cause them to lose their faith. Church, we tell me, we, we gotta get back to God. Amen. We gotta realize Amen. the devil is behind all of this. <laughs> and church, we can't listen to what the devil says. Right here, they may. So the, Peter said it the right way. He said, I want you to, amen, to be sobered. In other words, you know, a sober person knows what's going on around them. Right. We as God's people, we need to know what is going around us. See the condition and the darkness of the, and the sin and everything around us in the world. God put us in a wicked world, amen, sin sick, amen, that we can be the light and the salt, that we can turn those sinners and ungodly, amen, to God. Amen. So we, first of all, First Peter tells us, chapter 5, verse 8, it said, be sobered, be diligent. We gotta, we gotta watch what we're doing. Right. And we gotta believe what we're doing. We gotta be zealous what we're doing. Hey, can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 Glory right. to God. And the Bible said, be good because your adversary is the devil. See, the devil is behind this. He's trying to destroy the church. He's just trying to destroy God's people because he hates, he hates the church. He sees what the church can do. He's holding back the church now. He's holding back the Antichrist and all the power and all the principalities. But the trying to begin to move in the powers of state, Satan and the principalities and powers. Church, we need to realize that what is behind all this witness and all this sin because the devil is behind all of it. Yes. Amen. But the Bible says what Peter said. And it says, The devil, as, as a Lord, I've walked about seeking whom we may devour. Who resist that fast in the faith? We can win this thing if we'll hold on to faith and realize it's, it, it, the devil is causing all this problem. Therefore, we can resist the devil and say, Devil, you're not going to have, amen, and take our church. You're not going to take our nation. You're not going to take our people. You're not going to take me because I resist you in the, in the name of Jesus. And in faith, I believe that God is greater than you. Amen. Hello? Amen. So we need to know who is behind all this. The church needs to know this. Amen. And the pastors and teachers need to stand up and tell them about it. We don't wrestle against the uh, principal. We look like a good man in flesh. We wrestle against the principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. And all the spiritual weakness in dark places. But we got to know how to fight those principalities. Jesus nailed them to the cross when he went to Calvary. So we need to stand steadfast in the faith not give up. Now give up on what you believe, on your doctrine. Amen. What God can do, what God will do. Amen. And number two, we need to see what days that we're in. If you can't, if we don't know it now, too late to tell you. I know we live in a falling away. I said the last day to be a great falling away. There'll be scoffers and offers and everything else. But uh, we forget. See. At one time, the devil, he began to persecute the churches and everything else. But he found out, Brother James, that the more he persecuted, the stronger that the people got. Amen. And the stronger the church got. And, they, and the more they stood up for their faith. But he, then he began to turn things around. And he said, I'll just change everything. And I'll just make them have love. I mean, the love of pleasure. Now, this is what he said. Now, these are the days that we need to see. Verse second, second Timothy chapter three, verse one and nine through nine. This though also in the last days, perilous times shall come. We're living in these times right now. I mean, we're living in a lawless a generation. 
We live in a place the law don't mean nothing. Right. Amen. Good is bad, and bad is good. Amen. Because church is a time that we're living in. But something had to happen. Something they had to turn away from God. And the church, today churches have turned away, turned back upon God and begin to amen, worship the things of the world. Their idols are committing a spiritual adultery and a spiritual fornication. They're turning their back on the truth of God and going back to worshiping God's amen that they come from. Amen. They, 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 want, they want to go back to Egypt, what the other gods are. It says, for well, men shall be lovers of their own selves. Right. See, what, what makes me happy and what satisfies me and what I want to do, see, the devil, that's where the devil got in trouble. I, 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 I. It's all about me. It's all about I. But it's not about you. It's not about I. It's about God. Amen. Amen. So we need to get back to loving God. Loving, that's what it says. Loving their own self. When you love your own self and God doesn't control you, the devil comes in. Right. And, and the, the company, he, he comes in and he blackens your heart. He, your heart is either full of love or it's full of hate and bitterness. Can I hear an amen? amen. amen. So it says, For men who be loved to own self, covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unfaithful and holy. This is the nation that Israel was into, and this is the nation that we're into. And we can see by the, by the scriptures, God destroyed Israel. And if we don't turn around, God is going to destroy us. Yes. It's time that we begin to wake up. Amen. The church has a lot of power and authority. We will soon learn. Verse 3 says, without natural affection. Now, when, when we live in a generation now that people has no affection. Right. I mean, you look, I mean, they're killing babies by the power, by the millions. And this man, and the more examples of that, lined his three little children up right. and killed them, execution foul, and they think nothing of it. Or you listen to what I'm saying. This is what they call, they, they, they love themselves. Right. And, and, and the devil can move in. We've got to have the love of God. That's why God says, keep the love of God in you, that you won't be doing these things because you won't have the heart to do it. Because God will give you a heart of love yeah. and a heart of compassion and the heart of concern, amen, that we can help the fellow man. Amen. Truth breakers, false accusers, negativity, fears, despisers of those who are good. They hate people. They hate Christians. Right. Used to be just the, 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 the Muslims and other nations that hate us because of who we are. But we got people in our own nation now. And, and, and you know, most of all, the main, our nation is allowing those people that hate us to move right in up on us and not doing nothing about it. And there will be so many people amen, that hate us. If they're very careful, they're going to soon take us over. And it's probably amazing, amen, uh, that how many uh, terrorists that we have in our in our nation. And if, once they start to attack us, they can destroy 15 or 20 states in just a matter of seconds. Amen. Yeah, that's right. But they can't see that. They're blind. The devil has blinded them. He, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Thousands and thousands of people right now. It's not time for the baseball and all this other stuff going on. Line up to worship that little bitty ball. Or the one that's throwing the ball, the ones that hit the ball. Amen. And they're, they're setting rain, shot or snow, or whatever. They'll worship, they'll worship that. But you can't even get them to come to church on a Sunday. Amen. And worship the God that gives them all the pleasures and everything else. It's going to have yeah, no amen. pleasure. But you let pleasure overrule God. Yeah. You, have, you have become a sin. Amen. And a sinner. And I love for worship. You're committing adultery and fornication. Because that thing become more than God. Having the, the love, having loving pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. And I want to speak just a minute on that. I'll get to it later on too. These little churches, and I'm not, we got a small church, but it could be bigger. I'd like to have a bigger church. But these, these people that's one of these mega churches, 
They're going there they because they're, they're idle, they're lazy. They don't want to be committed. They don't want to be dedicated. Or this is what I'm saying. Right. It's just like when I was uh, out in sin on, on Friday night, I couldn't wait to get to a bar to get a strip, to get a high. Amen. Or this is what I'm saying. Some people, they have a form of God, this Brother Jay, but they, they want to go to church just to get a spiritual high. Right. Amen. To, to let them have a little pleasure, have a little, you know, uh, uh, well, uh, just an enjoyment, I should say. And they don't be fooled with nobody. They, they put their kids out of the way. I don't want my kids out of the way in church. Amen. I want them in the sanctuary. Yes. It's okay to have Sunday school. It's okay to have a little mercy for the little bitty babies. But when they're big enough, amen, amen to walk and sit. Now, I had two girls, and they come to church with me and sit to my I get from a color group or something that they can sit between us, or whatever. And they listen to the word. Yes. They listen and look to the shout. They understood more than you think they understand. Right. And then I'm here to tell you, church, that you go up that way of the Lord, and then they'll, they'll feel the Spirit, they'll know the Spirit, they'll know the power of God, but if you put them in the back room, don't want to fool with them, that's your responsibility yeah, yeah, yeah. to break them to church and let them sign you and get in a good Pentecostal church, yes. a, a God believing church, and let them feel the presence, yeah. see the presence of the, of, of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. They don't want to have no time. We have one lady come to church, and she has some kids. <coughs> And she said, Brother Mike, I, I, I really believe that you need to start you a, 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 a class, what, what they call that, for the nursery. Yeah, nursery for the people. And I said, Well, we don't have nobody right now. I said, How about you? <laughs> she changed the subject. Yep. And then she went to another church. Or this is what I'm saying. Right. They have a form of godliness. Look now the power. See, God didn't save us and just get a spiritual high. He saved us and that we could grow and be like Jesus. I, I love to feel God. Amen. I love to shout. Amen. I love amen, to be in God's presence. The church, the word of God, amen, amen. is all is the most important thing that we can do. That's right. Amen. So we see here, having a form of godliness, the denying the power of the earth. From such turn away for this for this on the sober street for the house of them and cap the city. Cap the city where the lady was sitting, led away with diamond lust. Ever learning and never ever come to the knowledge of truth. Now as James as James as Janus and James withstood Moses, so do these that resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate, a morally shameful, shameless, uh, unprincipal person. That's who they are. Concerning the faith, that they shall proceed no farther, for that their father shall be manifested to all men, and as their as theirs was ours, God destroyed them. Church, God destroyed. This is what the church needs to do. Church, we need to see who's behind this. The devil's behind this, and we need to see as a church the days we're in. Amen. And we need to separate us from the ungodly. And what I mean by this, church, we're not, we're not supposed to be conformed to the world. Paul said, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercy of God, that you be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. To know what is the perfect will, the good will of God. I don't know the perfect will of God. Amen. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 tells you this. The Bible says in the first, a second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Now, I, I'm getting to a place of hold on now. We have, we, we're in the world. We can't get out of the world. Amen. Right. But we don't have to be of the world. Right. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17 says, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separated, saith the Lord. Be ye separated. Now what am I doing? Now church, the reason why we're in shape, we talked about what something about, about uh, uh, not this man in prison, 
And, and he refused to go to the man's prison because I'm, I'm a woman, I'm going to go to a woman's prison. <laughs> and did you say the three of them got pregnant? Right. And, he, and somebody said, well, that's how, that's how stupid they are. I said, no, it's the people that's really stupid because they put people up under the right. leadership that, that believes like that and act like that. Can I hear an amen? amen? We need to know what's going on in church. Amen. Now, the Bible says in Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. Blessed the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. We can't walk with the ungodly. They don't think they, they talk different, they believe different. That's right. We're supposed to be the soul in the life. We're supposed, to, we're, we're, we're supposed to be the leader and not the follower. I'll tell my children, you always be the leader and not the follower. You don't have to do what they do and walk the way they walk and talk the way they walk and be like them. Amen. You are a leader. Yes. Christian needs to learn. You are a leader. Right. That's a man that walked out in the house of God and will stand in the way of sinners. In other words, you've got to be a light to sinners. Don't agree with them. Let them know there's a difference. I went, we had, well, I worked there, we had some ungodly. We had some ungodly people. And they, they, know who, they know who is a Christian who's not. Right. They know who you believe in and what you believe in. And they come up with that. And, and they catch you off guard. I think that's what we got mercy and grace. And they, they come up, they start with a little joke. And pretty soon they begin to become obscene and everything. And before you know it, you'll be laughing at or agree with them. And then you think, Lord, what have I done? Oh, is this what I'm saying? We can't stand in the way of sin. We've got to be a light to them. We've got to be a leader to them. Don't set them in the seat of the sport. But don't set with them. That means you don't have to go and agree with them and everything. Say, so, you know, well, that's okay. No, it's not okay. Those, those, those sins in the seat of the swarm. Well, I tell you, we got a lot of swarm people today. It's hard to get around. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his, in his law that he meditate day and night. That's what we need. Amen. We can stand against the devil. We can stand against the snares. We can stand against everything. If we meditate upon the Get the word of God and just get the mind of God. Amen. Then, the, then you have to worry about all these other things. Because we know what God says. And the word, the Holy Spirit will move those words to us. And let us know if we're doing right or wrong. Or, 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 or who we're following. Verse 3 says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in the season, his leaves also not wither, and whatsoever he does shall not, shall not prosper. They'll not prosper, church, but if we follow God, we'll prosper. The Bible tells us in Joshua chapter, I think chapter 1, he said, We'll follow God and don't go further to the left or the right of the word of God, he'll cause us to prosper and amen and, and be, a, a be good for God. I mean, we'll prosper. We'll trust God will bless us, amen. The ungodly are not so, but are like, let me read that back to you. Verse 3, and he should, uh, talk about those that meditate in the word of God and walk in the word of God, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he doth shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so, that's what it says. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away, Therefore, the ungodly should not stand in the judgment or sinners in the congregation of the rest. They know one day we're going to get rid of them. Amen. But do what church? We need to save them. Watch your time. Amen. Amen. What should we do? What should the church do? Amen. Not set with the ungodly. We need to separate ourselves from the world. The Bible said we're in the world, not other world. And last of all, we need to see God's righteousness. Amen. Now what I'm saying about this, church, the church has got more power than the president. Amen. I said the church has got more power than the president. Wow. And all the Congress and all the sinners and all the other Yahoos up there. What are you trying to say? God gave us the power as the church, Amen. as his people, that we can come against everything that the devil throws at us. But first thing we've got to do, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, 
But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything about the church should be seeking God and his righteousness. What? We need to walk with God, talk with God, be with God, amen, amen and, and be holy, praise God, and, and, we, and we should seek what God wants to uh, Can I hear an amen? amen. amen. Whatever God's kingdom wants, that's what we should want. And here comes the good part. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 13. I'm trying to close. If I shut up heaven, that there is no rain, that means there's going to be famines every day coming. Or if I commit uh, the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, otherwise, God, I'm going to destroy you if you don't straighten up. That's the beginning of famine, the beginning of tribulation, things that fail. But it said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall harm themselves and pray and seek my face, glory to God. This is what it says. If my people which are called by my name should and humble themselves and pray and seek my face. We need to start praying, church, for our nation and for our leaders. Can I hear an amen? amen. And the, now, the Holy Spirit will guide us and lead us. Now, church, we, can, we, we, we try to weigh President Biden for everything and Harris and, and the sinners and Republicans. But church, the church is what got them up there. We got a bunch of lazy church people amen. that did not meditate to God and to His righteous, and they turn around just because they had an R behind it, or beside it, or a, 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 what is the other one, a D behind it, a, or whatever. They vote because that's who you are. No, you are a child of God, come first, and you need to seek the righteousness of God. Can I hear that? Amen. Amen. And you need to want, know who you're putting up there. Right. If, you, if they believe in homosexuals, you have sinned. If they believe in same sex marriage, you have sinned. Amen. If you believe in the bride, pride, and walk, you are sinned. Wait, you have gone against God and His Word. Right. Amen. And you have sinned. Yeah. You've got to pray and see God's face. It's like she said, said what well, about she, the Holy Ghost told her not to go. Right. But she overrode the Holy Spirit and not got, and not got killed. Right. Amen. We can't override the Spirit because that's why right, right now a lot of Christian people is in the shape they're in is because they didn't listen to the Spirit of God. They didn't pray. That's right. you got to pray and seek God's Spirit for things, church. See my face and turn from their wicked ways. See, that's, that's the wicked ways. When you go along with setting the seat of the council of the God and all that, you're, you're, what, that's what you're doing. You're setting with the wicked. Then he said, that, then he said, if you turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive you of your sins and will heal their land. Our land can be healed. It's not too, it's not too late for our country, Great. Amen. for our nation, Brother Jay, because all the church needs to do is get back to praying and seeking God Amen. and think they're all right when they're not all right because they're miserable, poor, blind, and naked, and they have a need of God and the need of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, you just want to see church. That's right. What can the church do? They can seek God and pray. Amen. <coughs> I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be opened and my ears shall be attended to their prayer that, that is made in this place. That's, in this place, the church. The church needs to understand they have, a, they have a responsibility. We are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We have the we have so much power. The church is holding back the, 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 the Antichrist and all the darkness and everything else. When God takes a church out, they're going to find out what darkness really is. Amen. That's right. Well, now I have chosen and sanctified this house. Though with God, He honors the house. He honors God's people. That my name may be there forever and for my eyes and my heart shall be there for present. As long as, we hear, as long as God's not a church here, God will hear His people. And we'll have authority and we'll have power. Right. Thank God, church. What does a church need to do? Amen. Oh, put this down again because I want you to get it. First of all, they need to see who's behind it. Number two, they need to see what days we're in. Number three, we need to separate from the ungodly. And number three is we need to seek God's righteousness. In other words, we need to pray. Pray, Amen. pray, pray. Pray, yes. pray, and pray. Would you stand this way? <clears throat>
Yeah, but I saw these things on television. And took me to God's time, that's, that's, that's the church. <laughs> you're the most, you're the most